This video is strictly for educational purposes only. All the attacks were performed in a controlled virtual lab environment. So we are carrying out this entire set of attacks uh, using virtual machines in an isolated uh, private network. The presenter is not responsible for any misuse of the information presented in this video and does not support any malicious hacking activities. Hacking systems is a cyber crime and uh, will land you in prison if you misuse such tools or systems for which you don't have permission. Hello and welcome back to another session on cyber security. In this session, we'll be taking a look at the Metasploit framework. So what is Metasploit framework? It is nothing but a penetration testing tool used by professionals to identify various vulnerabilities in systems and networks. So it contains a comprehensive list of tools which can be used for attacking various systems. So we'll quickly go through the various modules available in Metasploit. So we have auxiliary modules, exploit modules, payload, encoder modules, evasion modules, and post exploitation modules. So we'll be having a brief look at all these modules. What are the functionalities or why we use these modules in Metasploit? And in the next class, we'll be taking a look at the various uh, commands that are associated with the auxiliary modules. So let me go to a blank screen and uh, let me explain the lab setup i have here so uh, coming to the lab setup i already put up separate lecture videos on how to create this i'll be leaving the link for the uh, videos in the description below have a look at it so that you can have your own uh, isolated uh, uh, lab containing virtual machines so here i have installed uh, oracle virtual box so oracle virtual box i have installed and my host operating system is windows and uh, on top of it i have uh, kali linux so i'll say kl to be kali linux and uh, this is my victim machine that is metasploitable 2 so i have a vulnerable linux machine metasploitable 2 that's running and uh, i have kali linux which is the attacker and this is the victim this is the attacker and uh, kali linux comes pre-installed with uh, metasploit framework so we have Metasploit framework, the pre version that is pre installed with Kali Linux. So we'll be using Metasploit and uh, we'll be using the various modules of Metasploit to actually gather information about uh, this vulnerable Linux machine. We'll also be exploiting, exploiting in the sense we'll be running a piece of code that can exploit, gain unauthorized access to this vulnerable machine. And we'll also be sending payloads. What do you mean by payloads? A malicious uh, code that will execute on the victim. It can be a set of commands. It can be an uh, malware or anything like that. And we also have post exploitation modules, which will see to that the connection remains persistent between the attacker and the victim. See, after the uh, payload is sent, there can be a persistent connection. Even if this victim is going to reboot, that connection will still remain between the attacker and the victim. So that is a brief overview of what Metasploit framework is uh, all about. Now let us take a look at uh, some of the modules. What is the use of every module? So let me erase all link on the slide. The first module, what we were looking at is the auxiliary module. So what is the use of the auxiliary module is we have, uh, as I told you, Kali Linux, which is my attacker. And this is uh, Metasploitable 2, which is my victim machine. And what is the use of auxiliary? Auxiliary is auxiliary modules in Metasploit can be used for uh, gathering information or it can be used for scanning. So we will be scanning the victim. We will also be gathering information about the victim. So what do you mean by scanning? Scanning is we will be looking in for some open ports. What are the vulnerabilities existing on the victim machine? So we will be searching for uh, scanning for open ports on the machine. That's one example for scanning. What do you mean by gathering? So we have modules that help us with gathering information about this victim. So what do you mean by gathering is we'll be 
checking the operating system version we can be checking the SSH uh, version we can uh, be gathering information about the FTP uh, services so auxiliary modules are actually modules that can be used for gathering information about the victim machine so in the next class we'll be having a detailed look at uh, the auxiliary modules we'll be taking some of the uh, concepts we'll try and execute uh, those commands uh, using the Petasploit framework so i hope you're clear with auxiliary modules now let us move on to the next module that is called the exploit let me erase all ink on the slide and uh, let's uh, take again our kali linux machine i'm sorry Let's again take up this uh, Kali Linux machine and uh, let me take up this uh, victim machine at exploitable. This is Kali Linux and uh, the module that we are going to take a look at is exploit. What is the use of exploit? See, exploit is a piece of code that will be used by our uh, Metasploit framework for gaining unauthorized access. You can gain unauthorized authorized access. So this exploit uh, or the, the exploit modules will also help us to deliver. What is this? Deliver payloads. Say I told you malware is a payload so you can deliver malicious code commands to your victim machine using exploits. So exploits is nothing but a piece of code that can help us gain unauthorized access, deliver payloads, escalate privileges. So what do you mean by escalating privileges? It's like once when you gain access to a victim machine, uh, say you entered into it. Now you can escalate your privileges to admin privileges so that you can do a lot more damage to the victim machine. So not only that, we have a lot of other things that exploits uh, can be used for. So I hope you had a very uh, brief understanding about what exploit module in Metasploit framework is all about. So the next uh, thing that we have to learn is about uh, payloads. What do you mean by a payload module? As I told you, Payload is nothing but it can be a malicious software. It can be set of commands that we deliver. So it can also be used for creating a, a connection to the uh, victim machine. Say there can be a bind shell that is uh, you send a payload so that you have a port opened here. And uh, this payload will be listening for commands from the victim machine. I mean from the attacker. Say the, the attacker can send in some commands which should be executed here on the victim. So there is a bind shell. There can also be a reverse bind shell that's uh, created. So you have a port uh, opened here and listening. So we are listening in the attacking system. Say we sent a payload and the user clicks on a file here. When he clicks on a file, there will be an intimation uh, going to the uh, attacker. So the attacker will be listening here using a reverse uh, bind shell so payload modules actually help us to do a lot more damage to the victim machine but it can be malware it can be a set of commands it can be listeners so all these things we can achieve using payloads and how payloads are delivered for that we'll be using exploits i hope you are clear with this now let us move on to the next module that is encoders. What is the use of encoders? See, while you're delivering the payload, there can be a firewall. So you can have a firewall here, which will detect the payload. So encoders are used for, let me write it here. Encoders are used for, um, say there's an XOR operation that can be done so that we alter the bits inside the payload such that it's not detected by these uh, uh, firewalls or intrusion detection and prevention system. So it's like altering the signature of the payload such that it's not getting detected by the um, firewalls or intrusion detection prevention systems on the victim machine. 
so there's also another module called evasion evasion modules in metasploit what is the use of evasion is evasion uh, say you can encrypt the payload so encryption of payloads can lead to um, hiding your payloads from your firewalls or any other kind of software that's running on the victim machine so we can encrypt the payload and send it uh, such that the firewalls don't detect it we can also use encoders to alter the bits and send that so that again the firewalls uh, may find it difficult to detect it so evasion modules uh, encoder modules are actually used for hiding the payload or uh, uh, it's used for mechanisms that will help us uh, uh, hide the payload and send it such that firewalls uh, or intrusion detection prevention systems don't detect it. And the final set of modules you're going to learn is uh, post-exploitation modules. Post-exploitation modules, what is the use of this is once when you have established the connection with your victim, post-exploitation modules can help us with a lot of other things. For instance, I can run a key logger here. So this key logger will be sending in data whenever the user keys in some information. So post-exploitation, after I have uh, sent my key, log, key logger payload, that's going to run and send the information about the keys that the victim is uh, going to type. And it's going to be, uh, we're going to listen here and get the keys uh, that the victim is using. Not only that, uh, we have uh, other things with respect to post-exploitation. That is, after we send the payload, we can alter certain files here so that even when the victim reboots, see, even when the victim reboots, what's going to happen is the connection is going to be a persistent connection so that we can always listen to what the victim is all about, what the victim is doing. So these are the modules. I'm sorry for this uh, uh, messed up writing on the screen. But uh, I've given you a very brief overview of all the modules that uh, we have in Metasploit. Let me write it over here. So auxiliary modules, what is the use of this? It can gather information or it can scan information about the victim machine. Exploit modules, what is the use of this? It's a piece of code that will deliver the payload and it will also be used for gaining unauthorized access to the system. It will also be used for creating bind shell or reverse shell uh, after uh, the exploitation. Payloads uh, is like the, uh, once when you exploit the vulnerability in a system, you're going to deliver the uh, malicious code. Maybe this is used for escalating privileges in the system or it's used for creating listeners. It can be uh, used for uh, a lot of other purposes. Encoder modules is used for encoding the payload such that uh, it prevents the detection of this payload by firewalls or intrusion detection provision, intrusion detection and prevention systems on the victim. And uh, evasion modules, uh, again, I told you it can be used for encrypting the payload. I can, it can also use encoders for encoding the payload. So these uh, modules are actually used uh, such that we can send the payload uh, in a way that's not detectable by firewalls or any other software uh, that's uh, listening for any malicious activities that are coming in. Post-exploitation modules or modules that will be used after we send the payload and uh, I told you an example like key loggers, we can have a persistent connection. So even when the system is rebooted, that specific uh, connection still remains persistent. So after the exploit, we send the payload. Uh, what is the kind of exploitation we do comes under post-exploitation. So with that, uh, we have come to a very brief overview of all the modules in Metasploit. Now I'll be telling you how to execute the commands in, uh, some basic commands in Metasploit with respect to searching for exploits, payloads. And we'll also see how to uh, run a simple exploit uh, on a vulnerable uh, FTP service that's running on another system. So let's now take a look at the demonstration.